Good morning. My name is Mrs. Jennifer Mays, and I am here with Mrs. Um, Giti Mershaki, and we teach here at Longan Elementary School. These are my wonderful fifth grade students, and we are going to do a lesson on global citizenship. So, welcome. And I'll turn on the board. This is, as you all know, my daughter Allie, and Allie, last fall, was looking at the globe in our living room, and she asked me, Mom, why are there boundaries? And I, like so many times when you all ask me questions, I sat and thought, and I didn't have a great response for her, and I still don't know if I have a great response <coughs> for her. Because that's a really hard question, and it's one, even after you go through years and years of school, you are going to be asking yourself, you're going to be learning in political science and history and all different subjects, why are there boundaries? Today we're going to talk about something that I'm really passionate about, which is what it means to be a global citizen. And as always, in our lessons, we're going to talk about what, what that is, why is it important to talk about and then how are we going to go about discussing it? And how am I going to know that you understand it? So to start, we're going to talk about what it is. Now, I think in a room like this, where so many of us are either first generation, have moved here from another country, or have parents who have moved here from another country, you have a general set of, uh, sense of what it means to be a global citizen. We have people here, and please let's let me know if I miss a country and hopefully I'll be able to find them all. We have students in this classroom from Korea, Vietnam, Cambodia, from India, from Egypt. We have someone who's from the Ukraine and Russia, one parent from each. We have someone whose descendants are from Germany. We have two students from Afghanistan. Where are we? Over here. Afghanistan. Then we have someone from Brazil whose parents are from Brazil. Of course, I have a very strong connection to Peru. We have students from Mexico. We have students from Honduras and, help me, sorry, Guatemala, El Salvador. Okay, so really, look at that. We are, and of course, some of us were born here in the United States. So we have a good, oh, and Greece, I'm so sorry. And then we have a student from Greece. So we have a sense of what it is to be a citizen of the world, global citizenship. So we're gonna talk, now the focus for fifth grade, of course, is the United States, geography, the regions. However, it's really important to tie in global citizenship and we try to do that as often as possible because it is one of the components of our Henrico learning profile, which we have up there, but I have here as well for us. So global citizen, what does it mean? How, we're, we will talk about it in just a sec. I promise you all will have a lot of opportunity to um, share your views. So what we're going to do today is we're going to explore, define, and then, exp and, and then by the end explain what it means to be a global citizen. So you all know that I am obsessed with the musical Hamilton because I've played the music several times and somehow I managed to tie it into a lot of the lessons that we're doing in here. Well, part of the reason I love Hamilton is because the playwright, the person who wrote the play, Lin-Manuel Miranda, is a genius, I think. His lyrics and the music is beautiful. But another reason I love it is because he has tied contemporary, present-day America to the past, the Founding Fathers. And if you notice up here, there are people from all different backgrounds who are playing the Founding Fathers. So he mixes contemporary, modern America with the past. And he ties a world perspective into this play. And that's one of the unique things about our country, is that look at us, we are from different backgrounds. We are very much aware of a, a sense of the world. Because our, our country is what they call a melting pot. We have people from all different backgrounds coming together. And I forgot to mention Iran yeah. when we were talking before about countries that are special to us. So you know I'm obsessed with this. I've, I've played certain songs. Well, I was no different when I was your age. This is a picture of me when I was in fifth grade. I was 10 years old. And a song came out 
that I couldn't stop playing. Now back then, we didn't have I, uh, iPhones that we could just play the song over and over again. We didn't have access to all the music like you guys do back then. If we wanted to listen to a song, we had to buy the record. We had to listen on the radio over and over again until it came on, or we could buy a cassette tape. But you all, you can listen to any music you want at any time. Well, the song that I was obsessed with at that time was the first time I really thought about what it meant to be a global citizen. What I'm gonna do right now, and we're gonna transition and you all are gonna start talking, is I'm gonna play this song. It's about three minutes. And at, during that song, I want you to pull out your whiteboard. I want you to be listening for a quote. All I'm gonna give you, the hint I'm gonna give you is this quote had a huge impact on me and I, to this day, is really significant. You're gonna listen to the song and write down whatever you think it was that had that impact on me. And then we're actually going to listen to a more um, updated version of this song. So this was 1985, so that's a long time ago. The musicians that were part of this song, let me switch, were really popular at the time. You may or may not recognize some of them. They redid this song in 2010 after the Haiti earthquake and it's more modern uh, uh, musicians that you might be more familiar with. So we will listen to it at the end of our lesson again. So you'll have a chance again to see, hear if you hear the quote that you think had a big impact on me. So we're going to listen to about three minutes. Then we're going to do a question formulation technique that we've done many times where you all are going to come up with questions and ideas that pertain or relate to global citizenship. So here's the, here's the song and see if you can hear in it a quote that might have been significant to me and continues to be. And I might start singing, just kidding. <laughs> Chorus one more time. We are the 
they might have heard a, a quote in that. That was your first time listening to the song, so you'll listen to it again, and I'll give you another shot. But who thinks they might have heard a quote that was significant to me? We are the ones to make a brighter day, so let's start giving. That's an awesome quote. We are the ones to make a brighter day, so let's start giving. I'll share at the end what it was. Anyone else have something that they heard they thought might be significant? What do you think? Jordan? The world come together as one. Ooh, that's a great quote, too. That might be it, too. And what did you get, Natalia? We are the world. Yeah, in and of itself, the chorus. What did you write? Yeah, that's a great one, Mackenzie. That I love that. How about you, George? What did you write down? No, you don't want to share. Who else um, wrote something down that wants to share? What did you get, Angelica? That's another great quote. Okay, so there are a lot of really great quotes in this uh, song, as you heard, and. Um, so we're going to talk now about what this is. What does it mean to be a citizen of the world, a global citizen? And we've talked about this before. This isn't our, we've tied this into all sorts of lessons. But as I said, with our focus in fifth grade being the United States, so we have a lot of focus on geography and the regions of the United States, we weave it into other, in other ways. So that's what we're doing today. What I would like you to do, we're going to do the QFT, question formulation technique, is with your group, I would like you to think about some of the ideas you have about what it is to be a global citizen. And I want you to write down as, mi as many questions as you think of. Don't edit them. Don't worry about how they sound. This is more about your thoughts. What are you thinking about as you're thinking about a global citizen? Have a scribe, one person who's writing. And I'll set the timer for about three minutes. And then at that point, we'll, we'll talk about fi picking our three favorites our three favorite questions. So again, this at this point, we are just going to be writing down everything that comes to mind. And I want to come around and make sure everybody is sharing their thoughts. Let me find my timer. Guys, it's okay to talk. You're <laughs> it's so quiet. I know, please. Th that's the point of it. Okay, about one more minute. <laughs> All right, guys, let's come back together. And before we start talking about our questions, let's, let's categorize our different types of questions we can ask. There are open-ended questions, and who wants to explain what an open-ended question is? Yes? It's um, a question that has more than Okay, so it's a question that has more than a yes or no answer. So what would be an example of a question? Without looking at that, what, what word would you start an open-ended question with? Think about what, what, what how, what? right? And what would be, what is a closed-ended question, conversely? Um, Tommy. Uh, it's a question that only has a yes or no answer. Okay, so there are closed-ended questions that just have a yes or no answer, which is there's a place for both. And so they're both really important. What I want you to do is look at your list and just label the questions as either open or closed-ended questions. Just go through together. Take about 30 seconds or a minute to figure out if it's an open or a closed-ended question. <laughs> Got 
got it. Okay, 10 more seconds. Two and one. Okay, let's come together. So I would like to ask you to share some of your questions. And when you do that, if you could share whether you think it's an open or closed-ended question, and then we will decide together if that is the case. Who wants to be the first to share one of your great questions? All right, Angelica. Um, how can global citizens help make a change? How can global citizens help make a change? That's a great question. What do you think, open or closed-ended? Open-ended open question. That is not a yes or no answer, is it? That, that would require some, that's a great question. And we'll keep, we'll, we'll address that. All right, Natalia. How can we be a global citizen? How can we be a global citizen? That's another great question. Good. Um, open or closed? Open. Also open. That would require more than a yes or no. Neda. What is a global citizen? What is a global citizen? Right. That's a great question. That's sort of a um, general question. What is it? If we're talking about it, and would that be open or closed-ended, Neda? Open. That's an open-ended question. Mason. <laughs> What does it mean to be a global citizen? What does it mean to be a global citizen? Good. That's another general one. And what type of question is that? Uh, open. That's also an open-ended question. Um, Victoria. How do global citizens impact the world? How do global citizens impact the world? Great. Those are great questions. And what type of question is that? Open. That's also an open-ended question. Over here, Mackenzie. How can being a global citizen help us in the world? How can being a global citizen? That is um, a question that makes us think about what our role is and how, how does it impact the world? Uh, who hasn't had a chance? John. Why do people want to be a global citizen? Why would you even want to be a global citizen? What is it about being a global citizen? What type of question is that? Okay. That's also open. We have a lot of great open-ended questions. Mustafa, another one here? How can global citizen affect us? How can it affect us? How can other people who are global citizens, and I'm actually going to show you some examples of global citizens in just a few minutes. Tanishq. What do global citizens do? What do they do? Good. Another open-ended question. So these are questions that we will continue to address because, these, as I said, these are things that I'm really passionate about, and those are excellent questions. You did a, you did a great job. Um, so that is, um, those are questions that you come up with that address the question of why, what, what is a global citizen? That was a question that several of you had. Raise your hand if your group asked, well, what is it? So that was a, all every group did. So that's the first question you ask, isn't it? What is this? And why is this significant? And why is it important? And, and your questions are excellent. I'm going to actually collect these at the end of our lesson. And we will come back and answer these as we continue throughout the year. As you know, we're tying this into our, um, our climate change pro uh, PBL, project-based learning. As we talk about in fifth grade science, we talk a lot about how do we impact the Earth in, in um, what we do. And so we'll be continuing to talk about this some more. Um, we have here, I've told you a lot about TED Talks and how I'm, I get really excited. Um, about three months ago, I decided in the mornings, so I, when I work out in the mornings, I used to watch the news. And I would find that I was just feeling so down at the end of the news, uh, at the end of my workout, that I started watching these TED Talks in the mornings. And this is what I, this one, is specifically about being a global citizen. I'm just going to show about two minutes and listen for um, some of the ideas that we've shared both in our comments and in our questions and see what you can pick up and then we'll talk about we'll talk about this in just a minute. So just about two minutes. I want to introduce you to an amazing woman. Her name is Davinia. Davinia was born in Jamaica, emigrated to the US at the age of 18, and now lives just outside of Washington, DC. She's not a high-powered political staffer, nor a lobbyist. She'd probably tell you she's quite unremarkable, but she's having the most remarkable impact. What's incredible about Davinia is that she's willing to spend time every single week focused on people who are not her. People not in her neighborhood, her state, nor even in her country. People she'd likely never meet. Davinia's impact started a few years ago when she reached out to all of her friends on Facebook and asked them to donate their pennies so she could fund girls' education. She wasn't expecting a huge response, but 700,000 pennies later, she's now sent over 120 girls to school. 
When we spoke last week, she told me she's become a little infamous at the local bank every time she rocks up with a shopping cart full of pennies. Now, Davinia is not alone. Far from it. She's part of a growing movement, and there's a name for people like Davinia. Global citizens. A global citizen is someone who self-identifies first and foremost not as a member of a state, a tribe, or a nation, but as a member of the human race, and someone who's prepared to thank you, <laughs> and someone who's prepared to act on that belief to tackle our world's greatest challenges. Our work is focused on finding, supporting, and activating global citizens. So, who thinks they can um, respond to the question, "What is a global citizen?" based on what he just shared, Tanish. Uh, a global citizen is someone who is aware of and understand the world and uh, it plays an active role in the government and it tries to make our planet better. It works with others to make our planet more equal and fair to live. Excellent. Okay, that's a great answer. Who else has a response to that question? That's hard. It's hard to follow up after that. But does anyone else have, having listened to that, want to share what you think of? When you think of a global citizen, what do you think of? Tell me. Like how they can uh, help the world. Okay. <coughs> yes. How how we sorry. Be nice to other people. How you can. Be nice to other people. Okay. So think about other people and outside your country and outside your borders. Um, anybody else have a thought or comment about what it means to be a global citizen? So identify first as being part of the the world, first, and then being part of a country or a city or a state. Um, I have just here identified some, some global citizens that I'm familiar with and that I, um, I see some smiles because I've talked about a couple of them before. This is Malala. Has anyone <coughs> heard of Malala? She was born in Pakistan. Malala was um, passionate from an early age about girls' right to education and she was targeted by the Taliban. Taliban. <laughs> Has anyone heard of the Taliban? Um, yeah, so it's a terrorist organization, um, and they shot her, and they tried to kill her. They tried to assassinate her when she was 15 years old. She survived, and she continues to fight for the right for girls to be educated around the world. Where in the United States, we are used to girls coming and being part of the educational system and being a strong part of the educational system. That is not true everywhere, and so she's passionate about that. Who can tell me who this is? Anyone recognize her? So we talked about her a little bit when we were talking about climate. So her name is Greta Thunberg. Some of you have read up on her. And she is, um, she, she's from Sweden. And she is passionate about protecting the, the earth and protecting what we have and doing things as, um, as a world to continue to improve um, the current conditions as opposed to continuing down a path that is not um, sustainable. This is another person who also works in the environment. She was the first woman from Africa to receive a Nobel Peace Prize. And she also works in, um, in, in environmental issues. And I can't remember her name. <laughs> so, um, and then this is um, Dr. Paul Farmer. He's from the United States. He is a doctor who goes to the poorest of poor countries and says, everybody deserves the right to health and care not just the wealthy. Everybody deserves the right to be treated and, and have health care. So he has spent time in a bunch of developing countries serving the poor and helping the poor. And um, I put this here because each of you can be a global citizen too. This is not just something that is done on a grand scale. This can be done on a individual scale. We can all be global citizens. And that is a question that all of you, or many of you, brought up in your um, questions that you ask. How can I do? What can I do? How can I be a global citizen? She asked me about boundaries and why there are boundaries. Well, the lesson of what a global citizenship, a global citizen is, is that boundaries should not be significant. Yes, they play an important role in our world in designating who controls what area. But in terms of our world, boundaries should be should, should not play as important a role as they do. We should be looking at ourselves as a global citizen, as someone who, um, who joins together with other people. Okay, so as we wrap up, I want to share with you the quote that was really significant 
to me that has shared that has stayed with me through this whole time and then I want you to listen for it as we listen to the um, song one more time again this is the more modern view, um, version of the song done by um, artists that you probably will recognize but the quote is what the one that Cindy Lauper sang I don't know if you heard it but it change can only come when we stand together as one and I think that's true in so many settings whether it's in a classroom whether it's in a school or whether it's in a country our country right now there's a lot of division and we're not looking to hear each other we're just looking to stand up for what we stand for and not listen but especially in the world change can only come if we unite and stand together as one. So as we listen to it again, see if you can hear the quote. It's not Cindy Lauper this time, it's another artist and I don't remember who it is. But this is again, we are the world 25 years later in 2010 in response to the Haiti, massive earthquake in Haiti um, that occurred. So. Hi, I'm James. 25. Thank you so much for watching our lesson on global citizenship. Go, Go Logan Live!